the way that my late 20s hit me like a Mack truck, it's like the second that my frontal lobe developed, I looked around at my social life, I looked around at my career, and I said, nope. <laughs> what if we just did it again? Um, so here's everything that I have learned. Well, perhaps not everything, but like a really meaty list of just rapid fire shit that I wish somebody would have told me that I probably wouldn't have listened to because I only learn things the hard way. Hello and hi, if you are new here, my name is Emily Durham. I'm a careers coach, a careers advice columnist, and the host and producer of the Straight Shooter Recruiter podcast. So if you're basically looking for your personal internet hype woman who just so happens to be a careers expert, you are 100% in the right place. As always, I'm gonna timestamp all of the advice down below. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is paying attention to you in any capacity. No one is going to pay attention to your body, to the mistakes that you've made, to that weird thing you said when you were out drinking. Nobody is paying as much attention to you as you are paying to yourself. And truthfully, because nobody is actually paying attention to you, that also means nobody is advocating for you. There are gonna be very few people who say kind things about you in rooms that you are not in. No one is going to just give you the promotion. No one is just going to give you the things that you want. You're gonna to have to go in and ask for it because no one pays attention. Nothing that is meant for you is ever going to miss you. Nothing, not one thing. You are never going to have to change how you look, how you behave, who you are as a person in order to make that thing or that person work. If you need to force something, it is not meant for you. And on the flip side of that, you can't say the wrong thing to the right people. You need to let go. If you spend all of your energy trying to be the perfect partner so they don't leave you, trying to be the perfect employee so they don't fire you, you are going to be exhausted and you are actually not changing the outcome. The outcome is what the outcome is. If you prioritize yourself, you're actually gonna see better results because you cannot control what is already gonna be mapped out for you. You just can't. Money truly, truly, truly isn't everything, but it damn sure is something. The first two jobs that I took out of university paid me horribly, like I think below poverty line horribly. And if I wasn't living at home and wasn't getting financial help from my parents, I literally would not have been able to function. I wouldn't even have been able to afford to commute to the office to go to work. That's how bad the pay was. However, I really needed my first job outside of school. I needed experience and it was the right thing for me. I also recognize like that comes from the privilege of having my family to help me. Sometimes we're gonna make moves for our career that are not going to be financially fruitful, but they are going to give us learning and they're going to give us exposure. That's going to earn that money back and more later in our career. If you're watching this video and you haven't started saving for your retirement, this is your sign, start now. You will realize how expensive it will be for you to be retired for 10 years and you need to start saving today in order to live that out in the future. Boundaries only work if you have clear consequences of people breaking or disrespecting those boundaries. Telling people I'm not willing to have you talk to me like that and then letting them do it over and over again isn't doing what you think it is. It's doing nothing. All you're doing is hurting yourself and actually breaking the trust you have with yourself. Being popular in the office will get you promoted. Before you send that email, make sure you did not press reply all. When you're writing an email, write the full email in Word or Google Docs and double check for spelling and then copy and paste it into the email and then include the senders. The last thing you wanna do is send a half written or poorly written email to the wrong people too soon. If you're working on a really long written document or presentation, something that you have to go back and edit, spread your editing out over the course of a couple of days because you will get fatigue, you will miss things and I promise your work is gonna be so much better if you space it out and have fresh eyes when you're reviewing stuff. Your salary doesn't matter nearly as much as your hourly rate does. If you're making $100,000 a year, if you're working 40 hours a week, your hourly salary is just under $52 an hour. But realistically, if you're working 60 hours a week, you're actually only making $34 an hour. And for that many hours, you deserve a raise. Use your benefits, every single benefit, every single benefit. Use your retirement savings matching, the stock purchase matching, get whatever financial support or education support, use your vacation, go for massages, go on a trip, use every single benefit. If you truly want to get ahead in your career, you need to become an expert in something that sits outside of your job description. Because then if you try to leave the company, they're not just losing a recruiter, they're losing a recruiter who's also an expert in social media marketing. Suddenly I matter twice as much. And your salary is going to reflect that. I think one of the best things you can do for your career is find an opportunity to mentor and teach people. A, it's the right thing to do. And I think for a lot of us, it just like feels really good and you feel fulfilled, but it also gives high higher ups an opportunity to see that you're a leader, that you're an educator, and once again, that you are an expert. I've said it once, I'll say it again, dress the part dress the part. I don't care if it's dated advice. You don't have to necessarily dress for the job that you want. Just dress 
literally for the job. Studies show us that when we're confident in how we look, we behave with more confidence. We're more competent. Stop fighting the cliches. They're popular for a reason, unfortunately. Um, yeah, the whole, if you wanna feel better, go to the gym, get more sleep, eat more greens. Unfortunately, it does work. Sometimes you're going to have to tell people how you feel and what you need when you feel those things. Not everybody operates with the same level of empathy that you do. And coming from experience, you are going to be so disappointed by so many people if you don't communicate your needs clearly. It's something, honestly, I still suck at, like really bad. I don't know who needs to hear this, but people like you for how you make them feel about themselves. Do with that what you will. Learn how to be disciplined very early in your career and in your life. Ditch the idea that motivation matters because it doesn't. It is better to fail fast, get out of bad relationships early, get out of bad companies early. It's okay to walk away. The second you have a pro and cons list of this individual on your phone, the relationship is over. The second you were asking them to fundamentally change how they operate, the relationship is over. The second you are wondering if that person likes you, say it with me, the relationship is over. You are not going to crumble and fall apart by 30. 30 is kind of sexy, baby. I'm turning 29 in four months. Oh my God, I'm turning 29 in four months. I started posting on YouTube when I was 24. That's crazy. Every single year since I was 25, I genuinely feel like I have gotten sexier. Do I look the same? I think so, in and around the same. But above that, I feel so much more confident and so much more like a boss. You can't tell me anything. You can call me ugly girl. <laughs> I don't care. You could call me fat <laughs> with a PH. Absolutely. I feel no ways about how you feel about me. And the older you get, the more you will feel that. Stop being scared of aging. Aging is such a gift and you get to operate through life with all of the wisdom and experiences that you've had. And yeah, our bodies are going to change. But if your biggest fear is aging and looking old, ask yourself, why is how I look the most interesting thing about me? And then become more interesting. Okay. The only way out of a shitty day, a shitty season of your life is through. There is no going out and partying that's going to make the hurt stop. There is no amount of relying on other people to listen to you cry that's going to make the hurt stop. Nothing is going to make the hurt stop other than feeling the hurt, forcing yourself into routine and giving yourself grace and time. I personally love hearing what has shaped other people's mindsets and the thoughts and the experiences that have shaped the advice that they give. I think it's so unfiltered and so unplugged and like this isn't content that I post on any of my other channels because I just love sitting here and it just being you and I talking. I'm just happy you're here. I'm happy you watched this video. Um, if there's any content you want from me, make sure you let me know. Do we want other versions of these? Like a money specific one, dating, friends, careers, body image, you let me know. I love to gab. I could gab forever. I love talking to you, baby.